In the annals of American politics, few narratives are as compelling and transformative as the evolution of the Republican Party. From its inception in the mid-19th century as a platform against the expansion of slavery to its current standing as one of the two major political parties in the United States, the GOP's journey is not just a tale of political survival, but of ideological metamorphoses. This transformation reflects broader shifts in American society and politics, making the study of the Republican Party's history a mirror through which we can view the changing landscape of American ideals and conflicts. The Republican Party was born in a turbulent era, its roots deeply entrenched in the anti-slavery movement of the 1850s. It emerged from the ashes of the Whig Party, primarily in response to the Kansas-Nebraska Act, which threatened to expand slavery into new territories. The party's foundational meeting in Ripon, Wisconsin in 1854 marked the beginning of its storied history. Key figures like Abraham Lincoln championed the cause, propelling the party into the national spotlight. Lincoln's election in 1860 as the first Republican president was not just a victory for the party, but a pivotal moment in American history that would lead to the Civil War. The party's firm stance on the abolition of slavery was a radical and defining feature that set the stage for its future ideological battles and victories. The Republican Party's commitment to ending slavery was both a moral and political stance that attracted a wide range of supporters, from radical abolitionists to moderates who feared the spread of slavery would upset the nation's economic and social balance. This broad coalition was the first sign of the party's potential to adapt and evolve in response to the nation's needs. During the Civil War, the Republican Party was the beacon of the Union's persistence to not only preserve the nation, but to end the inhumane practice of slavery. Under Lincoln's leadership, the party shaped wartime policies that would eventually lead to the abolition of slavery, most notably through the Emancipation Proclamation and the eventual ratification of the 13th Amendment. Post-war, the party navigated the tumultuous Reconstruction era, implementing policies aimed at rebuilding the South and integrating freed slaves into American society. However, the period was marked by significant challenges, including severe resistance from the defeated Confederate states and the rise of discriminatory Jim Crow laws. Despite these hurdles, the GOP played a crucial role in laying down the early framework for civil rights a legacy that would be both upheld and challenged in the years to come. As the party faced internal and external pressures during Reconstruction, it began to experience the first of many ideological shifts. The necessity to balance radical and moderate voices within the party led to a complex and often contradictory approach to governance during Reconstruction, setting a precedent for future internal conflicts within the GOP. As America entered the Gilded Age, the Republican Party shifted its focus towards rapid economic development and industrialization. This era saw the GOP championing pro-business policies, which facilitated the rise of American industries but also led to widespread economic disparities and labor unrest. Presidents like Theodore Roosevelt, however, marked the party's pivot towards progressive reforms in the early 20th century. Roosevelt's square deal policies aimed at increasing government regulation of businesses, conserving natural resources and protecting workers' rights, showing a different facet of the Republican ideology, one that balanced free enterprise with social justice. However, the progressive era also saw a rift within the party, as traditionalists resisted the progressive changes. This division was emblematic of the GOP's ongoing struggle to define its core values, a struggle that would continue to shape its political and ideological trajectory through the century. The onset of the Great Depression presented unprecedented economic challenges, 
and the Republican Party found itself grappling with rising public demand for government intervention. Under Herbert Hoover, the GOP was initially reluctant to depart from its policies of minimal government interference, a stance that many Americans viewed as inadequate in the face of the economic crisis. This period marked a significant ideological conflict within the party as it debated its core economic principles. While some members advocated for more proactive fiscal policies, others remained steadfast in their commitment to laissez-faire principles. The party's failure to effectively address the economic calamity resulted in a loss of public support, culminating in Franklin D. Roosevelt's election and the subsequent implementation of the New Deal by the Democrats. The New Deal era was a time of introspection and realignment for the GOP as it reconsidered its strategies and policies in response to the changing political landscape. This era underscored the party's need to adapt its ideologies to remain relevant and responsive to the needs of the American people. Following World War II, the Republican Party experienced a resurgence of conservatism, influenced in part by the anti-communist sentiment of the Cold War era. This period marked the beginning of a conservative shift that would define the party for decades to come. The rise of the Sun Belt, a region stretching across the southern and southwestern United States, played a pivotal role in the political realignment of the GOP. The Sun Belt became a hub for military spending, suburban development, and conservative values, all of which contributed to the Republican Party's growing influence in these areas. Leaders like Barry Goldwater and later Ronald Reagan capitalized on this shift, promoting a conservatism that embraced free market economics, a strong military, and limited government. This transformation was not just a return to some of the party's earlier principles, but also a redefinition of what modern conservatism meant, setting the stage for the pivotal changes of the 1980s. Ronald Reagan's presidency in the 1980s marked a significant era in the history of the Republican Party. Reagan's charismatic leadership and his policies of economic deregulation, tax cuts, and a strong defense policy resonated with many Americans and redefined the GOP's identity. The Reagan Revolution was characterized by a confident assertion of conservative values, which included a reduction in the size of government, promotion of free market capitalism, and a strong anti-communist foreign policy. These policies not only had a profound impact on American society and the global stage, but also solidified a new ideological base within the Republican Party. Reagan's ability to appeal to a broad spectrum of voters from economic conservatives to disaffected Democrats transformed the political landscape of the United States. His legacy would influence the party's direction for years to come, cementing a conservative ideology that prioritized economic freedom and strong national defense. The election of George W. Bush in the early 2000s ushered in a new era for the Republican Party at a time when the world was changing rapidly. The attacks on September 11, 2001, defined Bush's presidency and had a lasting impact on GOP policies, particularly in regards to national security and foreign policy. The Bush administration's response to 9-11, including the initiation of the War on Terror and the controversial invasions of Afghanistan and Iraq, were supported by a significant faction within the party. These actions reflected a continuation of the party's commitment to a strong defense policy, but also raised questions about the balance between security and civil liberties. Domestically, Bush's policies also reflected traditional Republican values such as tax cuts, deregulation, and education reform. However, his presidency was also marked by significant challenges, including criticisms over the handling of Hurricane Katrina and the financial crisis of 2008, which would once again require the party to reassess its policies and public perception.
In the wake of the 2008 financial crisis, the Republican Party witnessed the rise of the Tea Party movement, characterized by its advocacy for limited government, fiscal conservatism, and strict adherence to the Constitution. The movement gained significant momentum and influenced many GOP policies and election campaigns. The Tea Party's rise was a response not only to economic issues, but also to a perceived drift away from traditional conservative values within the party. This movement helped to shape a new generation of Republican leaders and challenged established figures within the party, reflecting a grassroots push towards more radical forms of conservatism. This shift towards populism signaled a significant change in the party's approach to politics, emphasizing a more aggressive and confrontational style. The movement's impact was profound, setting the stage for the political upheaval that would follow in the next presidential election cycle. Donald Trump's election as president in 2016 was a watershed moment for the Republican Party. Trump's brand of populism, characterized by strong nationalism, anti-globalization sentiments, and a direct, often contentious communication style, marked a significant shift in the party's ideological trajectory. During his presidency, Trump implemented several policies that resonated with his base, including tax cuts, deregulation, and a hardline stance on immigration. However, his tenure was also marked by intense political polarization and controversies, which had a profound impact on the party's identity and internal cohesion. The 2020 election and its aftermath, particularly the events surrounding the January 6th Capitol riot, pose serious questions about the future direction of the GOP. The party found itself at a crossroads balancing the populist elements introduced by Trump with traditional conservative principles. As the Republican Party moves forward, it faces both opportunities and challenges. The GOP's ability to adapt its policies to an increasingly diverse and changing America will be crucial for its future success. Issues such as immigration, Healthcare and climate change require innovative approaches that can appeal to a broader electorate. Furthermore, the party's approach to populism and its impact on democratic norms remains a contentious issue. How the GOP manages these internal dynamics and external pressures will play a significant role in shaping its identity and effectiveness as a political force. The future of the Republican Party is not just a question of political strategy but of philosophical reflection. What does it stand for? How does it adapt without losing its core values? These are the questions that will define the GOP in the years to come. The history of the Republican Party is a testament to political endurance and adaptability. From its anti-slavery beginnings to its present-day challenges and transformations, the GOP has continuously evolved reflecting the changing values and conflicts of American society. As the party looks to the future, it faces the task of reconciling its diverse factions and addressing the critical issues facing America. The GOP's journey is far from over, and its ability to navigate these complexities will determine its place in American political history. The evolution of the GOP is not just a story of a political party, but a narrative about the broader American experience, marked by conflict, change, and the continuous quest for a more perfect union. The ongoing evolution of the GOP underscores the dynamic nature of American politics, where adaptation and change are constants. As the party charts its path forward, it will continue to play a crucial role in shaping the political, social, and economic landscape of the United States.